Yo, Adam Saxon with Gyna Cuban, and this Two Minute Tuesday, let's talk about refresh of data sets and of data flows and what kind of happens there. To set the stage for this item, the reason I want to talk about this is I've seen some questions recently about hey, if I refresh a data set, that's gonna refresh the data flows also, right? Or, you know, does it refresh both at the same time? And so I just wanted to talk about this to clear it up real quick. So enough of all this talking, let's head over to my laptop and take a look. All right, in order to talk about this, I'm looking at the new lineage view inside of the Power BI service. And so let me come down a little bit to something that's actually using some data flows as well as other data sources. I'm gonna highlight that item so we can take a look. So what we can see here is this given data set, which is my report using data flows. This one is utilizing two data flows. So the date and the customer data flow. And it's also grabbing data directly from Azure SQL database. Those data flows in turn are grabbing data from an on-premise SQL server. So if I refresh the report using Dataflow's data set, what actually happens here? What it's going to do is actually pull data from its data sources that it knows about. So that'll be the two data flows and the actual Azure SQL database. When it does this, it grabs the latest data available from those items. It won't trigger a refresh downstream. So what it won't do is if I do refresh of the data set, it will not trigger a refresh of those data flows to pull in the latest data. So it's only gonna grab whatever's in the data flow itself, what's already been processed. So you may have to think about, okay, I wanna make sure my data flows are up to date when I go trigger the refresh of the data set. So it may be that it's grabbing data from SQL Server, that's maybe the latest, but the data flows themselves, maybe it's a week or two behind or a day behind, and it's just gonna grab whatever the latest set of data is there. And so you may end up with potential discrepancies if that data all needs to line up. So refreshing a data set does not trigger those downstream refreshes. It will only grab the latest amount of data that's available in those given data sources. So make sure if you are using data flows that those are up to date and they have their own refresh schedule that's going to be occurring and make sure that's running and matches whatever you're trying to do from a data set perspective if you know about upstream data sets that are using it. Hopefully that helps clear that up for you. Let me know in the comments below if there are any other questions about this. Maybe something doesn't make sense to you. I can try and clear that up as well. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.